Hello guys, uh, we are live. Oh boy, the amount of times I've tried it over the fucking day just to get this up and running. This took me fucking countless of fucking oh fucking modern technology. But I'm not here to stress about modern technology. I hope it doesn't go down on me again, please. Please, Facebook, be in the fuck. Yeah, Facebook, be nice. Be fucking nice. You got a router that's in my room. A booster. To boost the fucking signal. Boost the fucking signal to this fucking laptop. Fucking hell. Anyway, I digress on that. Wanna thank ever so much for you guys tuning in, wherever you are in this world. Or maybe, I don't know if it's glitching on your side of things. But one thing is I want to say is thank you ever so much for you guys. Every time when I go live on Sundays or alternatively, you're watching through youtube.com backslash Galvinars. You know, because I love ripping these up and then putting them to you guys. One thing is I want to say is to you guys, I've had a, not as an eventful week, but different insight to obviously the... Um, Certain things that's happened this past week, other than a health scare, this past week, it kind of scared me. Granted, that's what a health scare is all about, isn't it? You know, but I pulled for it. One thing I want to actually say to you guys, it was a scary thing to have half a pint of blood clot come out of my nose after blowing it. It just all flopped out. It was just, ugh. I thought I would dreamt it at first. It's just one of those things, guys. It's one of those things. You gotta take it in your stride. You gotta obviously persevere with it. And the do but luckily enough, I was seeing my doctor the day before. And quite honestly, you know, when she told me that, uh, bear with me, when she told me it was just like a health scare because obviously the, what was in my heart it needed to go somewhere, and it quite honestly went down my nose. Could have been a lot worse, could have been stayed in me and killed me. It just shows you, you never know what's right. You know, yeah, I went busy because the mouth fucking came out of me. And normally when they take a fucking injection, or not injection, a test around, a test around your bloodstream, when you have that, to half a pint of still grosses me out still to this day you know just thinking about it but I've pulled through that um, fine fit and healthy and then obviously this obviously I interviewed obviously FBXW creators no other than Stephen Britt I can't thank them enough for uh, doing my podcast with me and obviously that will be released in January hopefully the first week touch wood touch wood but I tell you what, being an FBXW is a fucking godsend. You will know what I portray behind the mask. Doesn't look much more than wearing a shirt and the way. But when I get into my character, I get into my character. I hide behind this mask. And all of being off work, etc. like that, lets me do all the frustrations into the storylines and it's fucking amazing to pull off you know it's a really good buzz for being a part of the community that we're all connected as one and obviously bringing storylines to the masses so you know i'm glad i portray that character you know even though i fucking just broke my mask that's a fucking good start but it could be just the start of things to come you know obviously but the thing is when you're in real life there's no point hiding behind a mask, is there? You know, because at the end of the day, you enjoy what you do. You enjoy everything. And you continue to enjoy your, everything. But you shouldn't hide behind a mask. No one should hide behind a mask. Because art imitates life. You know, because if you hide behind a mask that often, you know, it's just... As a game, Kev... Um, because it just blows my mind that how 
I enjoy playing as that character, Gavai Knox, in that EFED. You know, because it gets rid of the frustrations. But when you actually get to not having those frustrations, you know, when you think everything is on top of you, don't let it get on top of you. Because, quite honestly, I've got a way of breaking away from that, you know, to get rid of certain things. But a lot of people may not have that. You know, they have their own personal life, their personal life commitments, everything. Just just living that character behind that mask. Check out our FBXW EFED page on Facebook.com. Uh, because we enjoy putting them together for you guys to be entertained. You know, but like I say, art imitates life. You know, because... I, to be honest, with certain things that, with having them coming along and then doing the podcast with me, you know, it just fine. It really does because, quite honestly, you get inside them two people that I respect and admire for what they've done for me over the past year, and I'm looking forward to bringing you guys that interview. You know, on my podcast, it just blows my mind with the support that people keep pouring in for me. Even on podcasts in the United States with Big Ray and um, Ben um, Memes, obviously podcast on Podbean, I think that's what it's called. How's it going, Craig? Um, But to have them to pour out the love and support for me, you know, because that's why I put it out on my podcast channel. And it's already got over 30, I think it's over 35 uh, downloads, obviously, just due to that shout out. You know, it just blows my mind every single time when I've actually talked to people and etc. This p- past week, it's just been phenomenal. You know, if it's like with me, it's like I um, talk to people. Hello. <laughs> but you know, it's just. It's mind blowing, it really is. Because when I talk to whoever, it's like from you guys to everything. How's me? Oh, I'm fine, I'm fine. You know, I take every day as, day as it comes, Kev. You know, when it throws it into me, I, I feel fine, but obviously I can't go back to work till. After the 19th, with um, that said, it just it's days when I can go back to work. That's one thing. Just spending Christmas, at least one thing, I don't have to throw you. It's like at least one thing of the advantages of being off at Christmas time for all early hours in the morning, you know. So I have that sort of thing, and you know, I don't dwell on it. I don't think about it. Get on with it. So hard to put in words. It really, is hard to put in words. Each day as it comes. But at least I can don this mask, take the frustrations out, and relax for the rest of the week. You know, because at the end of the day, I'm hoping I'm doing a few things more this week. You know, in a whole, I feel fantastic. You know, I'm not actually depressed, which I thought I would be, you know, because obviously I've battled that in the past. You know, I, I just take how as it comes, you know, because it's just the things with certain things in this world. You do not let things get to you because if you let things get to you, to the minus little thing, to the biggest thing, just think there's a lot more worse people off than you. And that's saying something. I don't know what sort of Facebook Live, I really don't. To people that keep coming in, 
I am grateful for the people that are actually coming in. You know, it just it just fucking does my head in when certain things when people think, Oh yeah, it doesn't go my way in life. You know, if you don't want it to go your way in life, we're mapped out our life life is mapped out before us without our own eyes knowing. You know? If you don't want that to happen that way, what can you think you could do differently? You know? It just I look at people that are ha- having the same problem as me. Big shout out to everyone on the pacemakers support groups on Facebook, you know, because quite honestly, there's a lot of people with the same condition as me, but been through it since a young age, young as seven. They got to me when I was 35. You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know at seven years old, being an 80s kid, what to expect from having a pacemaker. You know, I'm grateful now I've got the base maker when technology's evolved. You're not compared to the old style base makers, what they used to give. So I have that entity to think about, and I'm like, okay, fair enough. You know, because quite honestly, to be honest, over these past few weeks, every time when I've gone live, it's made me open up to the world that people want to see me open up to you know see me in a different light towards professional wrestling you know it blew me away from the first live stream i ever did over 700 to people that tuned in last let alone let alone when i did it early hours you know steven you know i do I do apologise about certain things in my life. I do not focus on the negatives of it. You know, the doctor told me not to focus on the negatives because it would bring my depression. And quite honestly, he's right. You know, I focus on the positive side of things. You know, yeah, I'm off work till the minimum minimum of 19th of January. You know, missing a lot of hours out of work which I think work could have actually done with me, to be honest, but I'm signed off and I can't do anything about it. You know? I'm grateful that I've got a roof over my head. I've got a family that gives a shit at me downstairs. I've got two two dogs that give a shit about me. You know? Be thankful that I'm breathing. You know? It's crazy to have certain things. You know? This is my life at the moment. You know, not doing much. Taking uh, paint, um, beta blockers twice a day for the rest of my life. If the battery goes in this, I get another one put in. You know? It's, it's mad. It really has been mental to think that this past month, how's it going, Zoe? That I've actually had a pacemaker put into me and I still don't believe it until I look at my chest in the mirror and say wow this thing is alive you know? when people say to when people say to me to take it steady I'm not being funny steady it's moment I feel like I'm about fucking what do you call it I'm trapped in an old man's body that's how, how point blank is as soon as I sit down I feel tired I feel restless I want to do stuff but I know I can't push myself over the limit because if I do I'll do myself some harm you know just take every day as it comes that's the way you see it that's the way you should see it, you know? Look at your own life, right? I look at my own life and I'm saying I'm blessed for what I've done for the past 35 years. Yeah, I'm getting there, Zoe. I'm getting there. Sorry, I'm just trying to focus on the small. My screen just went randomly small. I do apologise. But what I'm saying is, 
I'm taking baby steps, granted, to get back into certain things, doing it. You know. But it's great. It's great to breathe properly for once. It's great to have my heart properly for once. You know, that's what I'm grateful for now. You know? It just, it just is, it's, it's really strange to fucking say all that, but it's true. Anyone in this world that's in the same boat as me, or far worse than me, like being wheel, I could be wheelchair bound. You know, I'm not saying that I am, but but it's true. I could be wheelchair bound. There could be a lot worse off than I am, but I'm not. That's what I'm grateful for. You know, it just baffles me. It really. When thinking about it, I could be overthinking about it, you know? I'm not disrespecting any of my friends that are wheelchair-bound, you know? Because quite honestly, yeah, granted, I've got a few out there. But what I'm saying is to you guys is that it's amazing what you guys put yourself through to get on with life, you know? Because that's what I do. I get on with my life, and quite honestly... To see the amount of people that are actually tuning in, how's it going, Kev? Um, to get on with their own life, to come and support me through their life, even though they're in a worse shape than I am. You know, it just it just dumbfounds me how the human race actually works at times. But the, with the support that you guys. Yeah, fair point, Kev, fair point. I wasn't using you as an example, but I was just going to say this, Kev. You go through a lot of shit. Absolutely a load of shit. And you persevere through it. And I give you full pops for it, you know? You know, it keeps you going when you've got certain things going in your life. And full pops to you, man. I give you full credit. Because people like people like you, <laughs> it's quite honestly, you've been through a lot. I know you have, and I'm not here to discuss you live, but you've been through a lot. I do apologise about the long pauses, because obviously the way certain things is happening on Facebook Live, you know, because sometimes it's showing people that are online and some people are not, you know, because quite honestly. Your comments might come through late. I don't know. It's been glitchy tonight, but so far, so good for the past 18 minutes. You know, because full pops to you, man. I give you full pops. But what I'm saying to, to you guys is that everyone keeps checking. You know, but some people with their, like, hurt in some way, obviously, you know, I'm grateful that I'm breathing, if I wasn't grateful for being the way I am now, why would I, why wouldn't I, you know, it just, it just blows my mind that you guys keep tuning in every time when I do a Facebook Live, or you see anything that I post, you always tune in, it just, you know, even if it's personal, if it's not, and obviously you guys made the, made the world go around, you know, even though I've got my own family in my personal life, like I've mentioned, you guys are fucking awesome, you know, I can't thank you enough every time when you do tune in live, or tune in onto the YouTube channel, you know, granted, but... I'm grateful that I'm alive with this pacemaker in me, and I take every day as it comes. But obviously, with this coming into play at times, it does definitely help me out a lot. You know, it just things to baffle me. There is a lot of things in life that does actually baffle me. 
I don't like confrontation. Never have. Never will. But it is. That's about it for today. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, remember, if you are watching this on the YouTube channel, Backup Service, please do hit the subscribe subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys soon for another Facebook Live exclusive or alternatively on the backup. Catch you guys soon. If you've got any questions, don't forget to be to us to inbox me. I'm here for you guys. I reply to you as soon as possible. Because quite honestly, there might be a lot of you, I don't know, but end of the day, I talk to anyone. Alright guys, catch you guys soon.